Three, two, one, go. All right, welcome guys. This is gonna be a beginner's tutorial. If you've never worked in Nomad Sculpt, you don't have any experience with Nomad Sculpt, this is one of those videos where I'm gonna walk through everything from me just starting out with the sphere and kind of going through all of the 3D jargon that gets really confusing and things like that. So I have a few other crash courses and they've always done really well. People seem to enjoy those videos, those extreme beginner videos, and they're really fun to make. This was a really fun character and we're gonna use a lot of tools. We'll use the tube tool, we'll use the basic shapes. I'm gonna go through everything, but I'm gonna try not to confuse you too much. If you're anything like me, you know, getting started with 3D just feels very daunting, you know, and it's very, very difficult. And it, it seems very difficult because a lot of times it is, you know, if you're going to try to jump into Blender, Blender to me is just like the most confusing system ever but I had to learn enough of it to um, to bring my sculpts from Nomad into Blender to get the renders that I want so even if you don't if even if you have no clue what I'm ta actually talking about right now that's okay this this tutorial is going to be just in Nomad sculpt and I'm going to bring you through everything slowly and talk you through what I'm doing and just try to explain why I'm doing it as well but not too much because if I do it too much then I might lose you but as you can see I pretty much make everything with simple shapes it's just maneuvering shapes so the, the main thing is just getting used to where you know where it is that you bring shapes in uh, keeping them organized and using the gizmo which is essentially like your controller that's how you move shapes around and things like that. Of course, I'll teach you how to make a little cute little butt. We'll do some lighting, coloring, you know, all the all the normal stuff, all the basic stuff. So you should be able to get any of your characters or whatever you're trying to sculpt. You should be able to figure that out after this crash course. So this is actually the finish of the crash course, but I always have more that I want to do. One thing that I recommend is always sleep on it. When you create something, Go to bed, take some time away from it, and then look at it again. And, and you'll see that there's things that you might want to change, things that you might want to adjust. And one of the really important things is to really listen to your gut. You know, when you see something that needs to be changed, you kind of have to figure out a way to change it. Sometimes it's easier, sometimes it's not so easy. But I like to sculpt in a way, and I like to, you know, for example, like, there's something called layers. So if, if I wanted to get rid of this paint, you know, or part of this paint, of course I can erase it, but then it's also on a different layer. So if I wanted to make it a little bit more, uh, a little bit less opaque or something like that, I can, I can do some of those things. So the more that you sculpt, the more you'll just get used to ways to make the sculpting process uh, more efficient for you, more enjoyable, things like that. But I must say that this application is so much fun and I can pretty much sculpt anything. Of course, like hair and, you know, clothes, things like that are a little trickier, but you just have to think of them in a different way. You just have to think of them as shapes instead of like the materials, the textures. Um, but even then, a lot of the things you can sort of get to once you work long enough in the applications, you can pull off what you want to pull off. Um, but I do, there are some things in Blender and other 3D software that's a little more advanced. Uh, Blender, I don't know that well, but I had to learn enough so I could bring my characters in just to get really nice renders. I don't really do 3D for games or, uh, things like that. So I don't really need to animate them. I just like to make really cool art, beautiful art, things that are cool to look at. That's what I'm really after. That's what I did the whole, you know, the other 30 years of my life that I've been drawing and sketching. Like, it's just to make you know, really cool art. And here are my 
finished renders i made some changes i changed i took the shadows out of the teeth and the eyes i made them pure white as you'll see here and if you stick around to the to the end of this video i will include one that's actually rendering right now so keep drawing keep sculpting i'll see you all in the next video thank you guys so much for watching the video be sure to like and subscribe and if you want to go more in depth then definitely check out my skillshare classes where i am a top teacher. I have about 50 classes, both Procreate and Nomad Sculpt. I also have a few classes on Udemy, so if you want to learn more or you just like my style, you like the way I teach, you want to support me, those are some other places that you can do it. Thanks again. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video.